Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev, welcome back to this let's play of Victoria 2 with the historical project mod as the United States of America. So I've been looking through the event files to try to get make heads and tails with all this mess. It seems, as we locked out up here, uh, the, and I was, I was reading the event file wrong obviously before, it seems that by the year 1850 was not a hard limit, it was just a modifier. So basically once we reached 1850 this Oregon treaty would have had a higher chance of happening. So at any rate, it happened. We went for the hardliner push, got a bit of infamy for doing that, doing so. Uh, and the British caved, and there's only 25% chance of them caving, and they did. So, so we kind of lucked out there. And that also changed the uh, culture in this province, actually. Didn't it? No? 2% Yankee. No, it did. All Anglo-Canadians and French-Canadians up here became Yankee. And that's what happened. Okay. That's fine by me. We're still in the minority. There's still quite a few Brits up there. At any rate, that's happened. Uh, then there is the whole thing down here. As far as I could tell, and when I read through all the event chains, um, you pretty much want to go through the, all these steps. So, we're going to reload again, and we're just going to take the historical claims in that event. Again, as far as I could understand the event file, it, it will fire the Hidalgo thingy bob. It might even already be available here. Yeah, Treaty of... it's already available. So as you can see there, Mexico City controlled by us. That's it. So... <laughs> rather than siege down everything up here, all we have to do is just beeline for Mexico. And we can trigger the treaty and that's gonna be that. Um, and I'm gonna leave... Um, we're gonna roll one day. Of course, if we do this, that's fine also. We're not, it's not going to change anything. The, the war has already started. We're not going to get more infamy. Uh, so we might as well do this. Get all our cores. We're not going to take more. For now. So I don't know why it does this. Because these are not our cores. So they should not transfer to us. Not with that peace goal, I'd imagine. But we get that. Uh, now all of these things are still part of the Empire of Mexico, which is not ideal. So we can just only keep the historical stuffs, which is fine. Right, I didn't actually go through this one, our lands returned. Ah, dang it, I didn't think about that. But I assume it has no effect whatsoever. But I'm still going to, we're going to go through the historical route, but simply because that's going to remove all of the Empire of Mexico's cores up here. And I think that's uh, an okay investment. And it should should eventually get cores down here too. We're going to lose this to, these two provinces now though. Not that it's all that many people, I mean like it's like 4,000 people in total. 4,500 people in those two provinces. And yeah, they're not, it's not going to be that economical. So, fair enough, we're going to go with this. Only take what's ours. And then we're going to go with the treaty. Which pretty much does exactly the same thing. And of course, uh, we have to lose a ton of money for it, but okay. Which is sort of annoying. And they agree. So we're going to gain prestige. Uh, we're going to gain influence and relations and just... Get them into our sphere, more or less. Um, they're going to lose their course. Which they do. They, they they also lost their course on these two. And America, they're now in our sphere. So, we're going to demobilize. And try to select all the troops that are left. It should be none. And leave them to enjoy their rebels. Uh, 
And that should open up the Gads and Purchase. Uh, where is it? Gads and Purchase. There, what, what's the requirement? I need the money. Yeah, we need the money. Uh, we need state, no, oh, nationalism and imperialism. And uh, we can't have a truce with Mexico. Okay, so we can't do that yet, but at least we have the option for it in the future. So uh, we pay like a hundred thousand pounds for get to get rid of their course. And uh, befriend them in the later long run, I think. Uh, why do you still have course? California and Texas still have course. And does that mean Desert have course too? I don't see any course out here yet. Okay. Oh well, at least we got more territory. Um, Arkansas is going to be a state. Free state. Free state of Arkansas. <laughs> okay, Empire Mexico should now be in our sphere of influence. Mm hmm. We have a truce, so we can't actually influence them. And by st standing down our forces, we should be okay ish. Okay, um. That's fine. Uh, that's fine. More criticism, no more war. The election finished all of a sudden. Okay. Oh my! Oh my, the Whigs took it. This could get interesting. <laughs> this could get really interesting. Okay, so first of all, that spikes, I believe, militancy. Let's see. Well, we might get some migration now, that's gonna be good. Ah, revolt risk. Yeah, there's a wee bit of revolt risk over here. Um, so what's the decision that's fired up now? Are you gonna vote because why? Wait a second, how did the Whigs get into power? They're not dominant. How the hell did they get into power? The Democratic Party is still active. <laughs> what the hell happened here? I don't know. Curious. Uh, okay, so as for... Uh, reforms... Reactionary votes no, conservative votes yes, because of high militancy. Liberal, liberal, uh, liberals will vote no. Okay, uh, do we have any movements? Mostly for suffrage. Which I am quite okay with. Yeah, universal suffrage, let's go. Which is going to make them more conservative in the short run, but I think that's going to be fine. But I forgot to check what this option was, and now it's gone. Dang it. This one. The Wilmer Provisio. Well, the Confederate State of America do not have course on any of this stuff. Newton, Nevada, California, Iowa. Right? Oh, 
Oh, and this is why. This is why they lost. The national scandal. Oh boy. Okay. Well, these are still territories, and they're not slave territories. So, I don't see how that matters one way or the other. And they're not confederate cores. Right, no. So, I'm not entirely sure what that event actually does. Iowa isn't a core of theirs. Um... Uh, I think Missouri is the only one. I have a Minnesota. No, I don't see Minnesota. Um, let's see. California, New Mexico, Arizona, Utah, Nevada. Okay. Oh, Colorado up there. California, Wyoming, Michigan. Minnesota. So all the northern states, which are already free states. It doesn't matter then. Okay, but now we can choose a trade policy. And uh, we don't have market. We don't have the um, thing we need to get more options, right? Market regulations. Yeah, we don't have that yet. So we are gonna stick with this, I guess. Oh, it's because we got a new. Polis, uh, new um, government. Oh. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. We're gonna gain less influence. Right, because now we have a protectionist government. Ooh. <laughs> We're gonna go with this, I guess. I still want the research bonus. And yes, you have rebels. So be it. Ah, I completely forgot about this. Probably already have all the intellectuals you need. Oh yeah. Tons of intellectuals now. So we need someone in... Wait, I have another... Because I do have another one. Okay, uh, Ohio. Was New England done, by the way? Yes. So instead of Massachusetts. Of course, now we're taking up the South, which is kind of bad, but that's where the people are, so. I still need to, get to, need to get up to 2%, so we'll do that for now. Now I have to make money. So, we are actually in a position to take taxes now, because we have a new government. Oh boy. Uh, okay, so, first things first. Not No funding there. Tons of funding there. Tons of funding there. We can't increase the military funding. Um, that can't be right. Oh, because we have tariffs now. We have tariffs up the nose. Because we increased the minimum tariffs. Lovely. That's okay, though. I liked making money, too. And, of course, we're going to get a crash. <laughs> uh, Natalia. Natal, that sounds like something down in South Africa. Is that... Oh, come on. Let me just move the event here. Uh, da -da, Natalia. Natalia Natal. So you just default. You're a satellite of the US, uh, the UK, so we can't do anything anyway. So who cares about your relations? Not that we're going to go to war with you. How are you doing on aggressive expansion? We have eight infamy. It's going to take a while for that to burn down. Oh, unpause. There we go. Move home. I 
Do we have loans? We don't have loans. We don't have much of a treasury either. We'll see how this goes. Actually, we might want to help them with these rebels. I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? Is this is the Dixie army? These are the Yankees. Uh, where are the Dixies? Dixies, I need you so I can kill you. Also all Yankee. Okay, Yankee, 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 Yankee. You are Dixie, 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 and one Yankee. That's mm. okay. Oh, can we can't go through. Uh, would you give me military access? Oh, never mind. They wouldn't accept it anyway. Let's start buttering up to them. That's fine then. I guess they're gonna suffer some kind of rebellion and become a new government or whatever. And all of a sudden... Lion suffer? Sure. And now would you let me get through? Of course now I can't. Dang it. Where were the... Where were the... Where were the... Yankees? Or the... Dixies? Go down here, please. What about you? You are a Dixie artillery, but go north anyway. Now then, we're allied, so now you accept. Fine. Let's see if we can save you. Send in the Dixies. There we go. There's the Dixies. Charge! Well, wait until they actually accept. There we go. Go. Ah. Go! So now we have to make up money at least and wait for the um right we need a state like we will die that's true we need the next tech we can't buy the gadson thing until we get this tech so we can't do jack squat until 1850 anyway um trading privilege whoa oh I mean, there are virtually no people is the uh, output isn't gonna be much this choice, but um, these two though. I can radically shape, reshape the upper house, which is rather interesting. Um, I mean, the people are quite liberal now, 44%. Same with the voter base. They're all for limited citizenship, that's not pleasant. Anti-military. Any movements now? You want to switch to the Jefferson method?
It doesn't specify what this actually does, does it? Uh, Jefferson slightly favors large parties. Oh, okay, so... Okay, so basically if you go down this way, you're gonna get more support for the smaller parties, basically. Okay, I get it. So it's, it moves us towards parliamentarism rather than <laughs> the US system. Got it. Um, you're gonna be more liberal in the upper house. And that immediately triggers the whole uh, of the decision here. All pops in slave states gain consciousness. And all the other ones lose consciousness. Really confused at what these decisions actually do, which is kind of annoying. And I also don't know if I need to institute these in order to trigger the whole uh, civil war. I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know if I need to trigger those. Uh, let's see if we can find our populace. So, how are we doing actually in total populace? Can we see the total number here? No. I think we'll keep at it and see what happens. But By the time we get here, he's gonna have taken a province. He's gonna cave. Oh no, this rebel took a province. I need to surrender now. If it had been the capital, I could kind of understand it, but... New railroads. That's gonna make our... Industrial is quite happy. So it says 5% here. We actually have 10% because of the trade policy. Um, increase the education efficiency, maybe. So you can get literacy up higher. I still don't think we need for the more, some of the more interesting decisions down here. Uh, for this, we need what? Yeah, that's fine. We're gonna get that at some point. Uh, that's not that not that one, not that one. Switch canal. 
The iron range requires advanced ore melting process. Okay, that's gonna take a while. And the Gatlin purchase requires this nationalism and imperialism and total money, right? Yes. Okay, that's not gonna happen. Annex Hawaii is also gonna just take even more time. That's not gonna happen. I don't want to invade Cuba. And all the other ones won't matter. So, okay, fair enough. Um, It's only, that's the one that unlocks pro, new trade problem, trade, trade, ah, trade things. Still, business regulations, that's a lot of production output for iron and sulfur and coal and everything. And it's fairly cheap right now. So it's either this or it's uh, more industry. Yeah, let's go with the pottling process, just so we have it. Yeah, there's the advanced ore thing, Bob. So once we get hot blast, we can get that event for the iron mines up in the whole area. That's gonna be good. Okay, I'm gonna take a break here. We shall see how, <laughs> how what we can do to get the civil war to break out. Um, and what happens then, I don't know. Time will tell. Time for a break. Thank you for watching.